David, now we got to head back to the fair. Four dollar Tuesdays, and uh, John Dupree is there this morning. He's not looking at the food, not looking at the rides, but the art this morning. Hi, John. Oh, and this is some of the most amazing art you've ever seen, Alexis. Design and Wood, the exhibition right in the middle of the fair, right beneath the tower, is here. And uh, Bob Stevenson is sort of the curator of this museum. Bob, I was fascinated by this piece. It looks like a bulb. It's a, it's a vase of some sort. Quickly, tell us how Pete Campbell created this piece, which has taken first place. This is a burl that he's mounted on the lathe and turned it in shape, and then hollowed it out with a special tool. This was and one block of wood, one and it block turns of wood. into a vase. And I noticed a flaw in the wood, that he worked with it, and he turned it into a work of art. They do that by wrapping it with tape while it's on the lathe to keep it from flying apart. Otherwise, it would just explode. Pete Campbell is the artist who did this. He's a wood turner. You want to see how a wood turner turns? Bob, come with me. Let's go meet somebody, folks. This is Mike McElhaney. He's a wood turner. How do you do, Mike? Hi. What are you doing here? I am making a small bowl. A wood bowl? From a local tree. It's a red bark eucalyptus. Uh, it's the iron bark, the ones you see, the, uh, uh, the heavy bark on the eucalyptus tree. Show us how a wood turner turns wood. Okay, You've got some sort of a metal rod. Tell us how that works. This is, this is a gouge, a bowl gouge, and it cuts on these two flutes so that when you put it into the machine, you want to lay it in flat and then work your way up to cutting. So let me show you. Yes, we always wear a hood because these things can kill. And I'll back off a little bit myself. We're behind a pane of plastic, so we're protected. Look at that. That's wood, folks. That's not clay. But it looks like clay, doesn't it? As Mike turns it, we got about 30 seconds, but he's hollowing out a piece of wood that's fastened to the turn with his cutting device and a bowl is taking shape from a block of wood. Bob folks get to interact here, don't they? Yes, they do, and this is just one of many displays we have here at the exhibit. What happens to the pieces that you create? I know that you're doing a lot for the Wounded Warriors program. Mike, quickly, you're creating pieces and folks can donate and take the pieces home. Uh, uh, and then what happens to the money? If I do it here, well, it goes to the Wounded Warriors program Fantastic. at Balboa Park in Camp Pendleton. And that's uh, run by uh, Nan Bushley up in Camp Pendleton and uh, by uh, uh, Ed, Tom Edwards. Tom, Tom Edwards. Yeah. yeah, Tom Edwards has a big hand in, in the uh, Balboa Park one. All right. uh, Mike, thank you very much for showing us how this works. It's called Design and Wood, folks, and um, I've already begun working on the chair. When we come back in our next segment, in about a half an hour, you're going to get to see a little bit of what we're doing over there. Mm -hmm. We're creating chairs for folks, uh, for, for five-year-olds who visit the hospital. And oh, uh, cool. all these chairs go to local hospitals where the kids get to use them. Mm, They're that's, donated. That's um, we're going to show thought. you what uh, my yeah. creation is. You better get like. to work you then. You can actually sit on it. Yeah. Okay. Was, okay. Here's well, a tip. I was thinking, I need to get back to work right away. Here's yeah. a tip. i got to get chair, my thumbs working. A chair has four legs. You have to have strong thumbs yeah. to do this. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Good it, luck, it will John. have four legs, I promise. <laughs> right. Leslie, okay, we'll see John's finished product in a little while. <laughs> Fingers crossed for him. Well, it's like, who's the tester of this chair? Because uh, it would be Some, very sad if it was a five-year-old. Lightweight? Well, yeah, right. maybe somebody really light. Yeah. <laughs> Low to the ground. Uh, very much so. Uh, we'll have him test out his own chair.